Right here, guys. <coughs> yeah, I'm just um, doing all my uh, pre-departure checks uh, for my C-Flux uh, vessel management system. So uh, uh, I've just done, gone down and done the engine hours and what sort of carry on. Loaded that onto the uh, C-Flux system. And I've just been going through uh, anything that's overdue or up and coming. Uh, it automatically comes up on your, on your main, main screen. Uh, so just going through, ticking it off here, yeah, that's been done, that's been done, or shit, I haven't done that, you know, so that's a great thing is um, you've got your reminders. Um, a couple of days ago I swapped out the ray cores, you bang that into uh, your, your job list and, and record it all so it's part of your maintenance history. So um, yeah, I'm just going through and doing my pre-departure checks and then uh, when I get going I'm really loving the logbook feature. So uh, uh, we'll get going this morning, I signed off yesterday's one. And when we get going again this afternoon, um, I'll start a new voyage. And uh, another one of the great features is uh, uh, you write down, uh, you know, who's in the, so whoever you've inducted in the system. Um, when you start your voyage, it says, right, oh, what crew have you got on board? You just tick, 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 right, these are the blokes that are inducted there in, in the system. And then um, that's, that's part of your logbook. That all goes through. Uh, you can log your, your hours that everyone works each day and that automatically goes through uh, on their records as well. So if anyone's going to do a, a skipper's ticket or something, he's got a record of his hours. Um, and you can also write down what duties he's been doing. You know, has he been doing his watch keeping duties um, and all that sort of stuff. So yeah, just, just loving the sea flux. It just makes my life a lot bloody easier. And um, because we're doing fairly quick turnarounds, um, you need to have your shit together, basically. It's that simple. Um, you need to have everything done and everything orderly and in place, otherwise you forget shit. So, uh, yeah, just loving it. So, yeah, just goes through all that. Um, as I say, I've done the uh, engine hours, um, goes through the maintenance schedule. Um, I've just got the boys are downstairs now greasing everything. So I'm, um, the last 40 years, mate, uh, I grease all the deck gear uh, every, th every three days, um, re religiously. Um, yeah, so the boys are doing that now. And um, yeah, just get everything um, sorted out and uh, we're good to go. So yeah, loving the sea flux system, bloody fantastic. Right, oh guys, while I've got the, uh, the light boom, it normally swings down, but while I've got the light boom up, I'll show you guys these IQL uh, VUSO, I think that's how you pronounce it, VUSO 66, V-U-S-O 66 uh, from IQL. They are just absolutely awesome. So four of them sitting there, and uh, these are our uh, fisheries compliance cameras as well. So we've got two cameras there as well. But yeah, the uh, uh, the IQL lighting is just absolutely fine. It just lights up this whole area we were hauling. Um, just phenomenal. Yeah. And we've got a couple couple more up the back, up the top here. We've got them everywhere actually. And uh, geez, they do the bizzo, eh? They just light this place up big time. Yeah. So, uh, and we've got a uh, some down the, down the stern there as well on that, uh, that post there. So um, yeah, just thoroughly re recommend them. And they're, they're bulletproof guys, absolutely bloody bulletproof. Yeah, you know how you guys get your lights and uh, um, the first thing that bloody happens is uh, everything seizes up, you know, they're supposed to be bloody marine grade and all that sort of thing and, uh, and half the time all the bloody screws go rusty and all that sort of shit. Well, it just doesn't happen with the IQ, QL gear. Um, and it's an Australian family owned company and uh, we've come on board as brand partners for them. Um, just a fantastic bunch of guys and um, I certainly stand by their products. Um, absolutely fantastic lighting, yeah. And we need it, you know, we're, uh, we're searching for gear all the time. You know, if we have a line break, uh, we're searching for all our bubbles and what have you, our floats, uh, we need the lighting. And um, yeah, IQL certainly did the bizzo for us. Oh yeah, guys, we're, uh, we're out of here. Heading back out there, so um, yeah, we left Coff, Coffs Harbour about, about an hour ago. So I wander out, it's not too bad. 10 to 15 of South West. So you look pretty good. Water temps 21.1, and where we're heading should be about 24 degrees. So yeah, wander out and have a look. Uh, it's the back side of the moon now, so full moon was about three, four days ago, I think. So we're on that last quarter now, so. They still, should still be on the tube for the next couple of days anyway. Fingers crossed, so yeah, we'll go and have a look. And the water's changed quite a bit from where we were last trip, so yeah. So all right guys, have a good week and um, we'll keep you posted during the trip and yeah, have a good one guys and uh, we'll, uh, we'll keep you in touch. Cheers guys. Oh, 
we're taking a 10,000 10, meter spool on. So it's quite handy, just put it on one of the uh, one of the bars in the tank. It sits there quite happy. Through there, onto a block. The uh, forecast there for the next few days, and you can see it start to form up here at the top. Uh, that's tomorrow. So yeah, it's not looking good. And uh, anyone up north, you need to put your game face on. That's uh, looking pretty bloody serious. So that's Wednesday. It starts. Uh, starts to show itself really. And it's uh, Thursday the 7th. And it's Friday the 8th. So it's coming guys. And I'll just keep an eye on the modelling and um, no, I'm not sure which way it's going to twist. Hopefully it moves off the coast, um, but at the very least you're going to get some bloody massive surf um, down there. So yeah, keep your game face on, guys. It's uh, not looking good. What's happening? Oh, sorty. Nice no, sorty. Beautiful day for it. So, first haul of the uh, trip. Andy will just swing her hard round the port, get back on the line, and away we go again. These are the IQL lights, they're just stunning. I'll take that size all day long. Nice and easy to handle. Silver scars have healed up from the cookie cutter bites.
old sorties are ticking over quite nicely. Shaping up to be a good day. Alrighty. Grab a pick. Sun's just rising, and this is line three. Third line of a trip. Oh, yeah. And another crack of A. Forecast is still sort of 10 or 15 knots for the next few days, so. <coughs> Doing all right. Plenty of nice size swordfish around. The IQL lighting. Let's go and turn those off actually. Just the most phenomenal LED lights. Just incredible. And we've got all our uh, compliance cameras on there as well from the, the fisheries, so they're watching what we're hauling and uh, what we're discarding and Keeping an eye on the whole operation. So yeah, pretty consistent fishing, it's good. So we'll, uh, we'll see what the day brings. Yeah, what are the boys picked up? They should be using the lifting gear, but they just prefer to just rip them up. They do all right. We have got the lifting gear, but yeah, they just prefer to. Prefer to just grunt them up. So we've got the big high air right there. And uh, it's a piece of cake to, to build it over with the big, the big hook, but uh, yeah, the boys just rip them up. I won't show you the gory bits. Another crack a day. We've got a cyclone above us, but um, it's not looking like it's going to affect us at all. So we're far enough down south, below Queensland, and uh, We'll do alright, we are going to get a bit of a wind increase, but we'll probably only do one more shot and uh, we'll look at going in. Yeah, so, took it over nicely. Good 
what's he got? I haven't seen it yet. Oh, it's a tuna. First one for the day. We've had plenty of swords, but uh, tuna have been a bit quiet. doing this normal circling, you know, they, they get up by the boat, they start circling. Here it comes. Ooh, he's calling it a big eye. Ooh. Ah. Just watch the swearing, bro. Well, then he's down there with his storm line sleeve, so he's loving those. He's not getting the jellyfish on his um, on his arm. Giving us some new gear to trial, so uh, you'll notice the sleeve that uh, Andy's got on. It's got a neoprene uh, neoprene cuff, and uh, if you've ever hauled long lines, you know why we wear the sleeves. Uh, you get the jellyfish wrapping around your arm, and it hurts. So yeah, Stormliner brought out a bloody awesome sleeve, and uh, this gear that Andy's wearing is called uh, this is the Westport range. And it's bloody luxury gear, to be honest. It's almost leisure wear. So still got the Stormline, same Stormline toughness and quality that they're famous for. But uh, the finish of it, like around in the pockets on here, it's almost like leisure wear. It's uh, just been so bloody well finished. So um, I gave a set to my son Cam and uh, my daughter Alex. They, they walk up the Mount, Mount Monganui every day and um, they've been mountain biking in them and Cam's been down the Tongariro trout fishing in them and they just absolutely love them so yeah they're virtually uh, they're virtually uh, leisure wear quality and it's uh, out of the rip tear, rip tear fabric so they're bloody awesome so yeah these uh, so, but the boys love the sleeves hey Andy absolutely love the sleeves yep stops the Portuguese being in war and uh, the boys are wearing the Storm Tech, so this is a new range from Bruno, uh, from uh, Stormline, should I say. So yeah, the, uh, the Storm Tech's range. And these are uh, super comfortable, quick drying, and uh, one, one new feature is they've got ankle, ankle domes. Instead of the Velcro, they've got ankle, ankle domes. So they're stainless steel domes. And uh, these are quick drying. So yeah, we're using the, high, the latest technology in fabrics. So they're quick drying and super comfortable. Right, while they're hauling this fish in, give us a twirl, bottle boy. That's it, yeah, so 
Just check out the, uh, the details on the Swissport range. It's top end, it really is. So it's almost leisure wear, but it's a ripstop, so it's really good fabric. Boys over here pulling a few more swordfish. So yeah, so um, yeah, stoked to have the new sleeves from Stormline, the Westport range, and also the boys are wearing the uh, the white uh, Stormtex range, which is super comfortable uh, and uh, quick drying. So yeah, boys are stoked. So yeah, thank you Stormline. Alrighty guys, well that's a wrap. Uh, great trip. So uh, what did we do? Five shots on the end. Did the five shots and. Uh, dead calm the whole trip so it's been fantastic absolutely fantastic gears worked well boat was going great the crew were fantastic so yes yeah, stoked stoked and um, some bloody good fishing yes yeah, some nice yellowfin a couple of nice big eye a heap of sorties and uh, a few striped marlin so um, yeah over the moon so yeah so we'll uh, we'll head into Ulladulla which is uh, down in uh, the south coast of uh, New South Wales Australia we'll head into there um, we might go out and do a couple more days, but uh, on the 16th of December, I'm flying home to New Zealand uh, to see my family. Uh, been a, oh, it's been, must be four or five months since I've been home. So I basically got off the plane in Sydney, whatever it was, four or five months ago, and uh, came down onto this new vessel. Um, and it's been a, been a lot of work getting it up to speed, but we're, get, we're getting there now, and uh, we're producing the results. So yeah, great, great effort. And um, we'll see how we go in the next couple of days, but I might be flying home and uh, catching up with loved ones. So yeah, it's a pain at this stage. So I'll keep you posted guys. But uh, yeah, great trip. Thanks guys. All right, straight into port. And uh, two minutes later, we're unloading. Which is great. Get it unloaded and uh, they'll wear it back in Aladala. And it's grey and misty, they said uh, well, Sydney had 40 degrees heatwave yesterday and uh, three hours south we've got, well, we had fog coming in. Yeah, so we'll get this off and uh, start cleaning up. Yeah, so that's what we're up to, unloading Aladala. Al 